Head into Salt Lake City as the Utes will match up against Washington State and what a difference a week makes for both of these programs, both trying to respond after losses. And of course, our Pac-12 Network crew will start our coverage at 3 p.m. Pacific time in Salt Lake. Yogi Roth and Mike Ann with you. All right, explain this to me because we would have said a week ago this might have been a preview of the Pac-12 championship game. At least you were telling me that. You're still on the fence that it still could play out that way, but one of these teams is at least going to have a good bounce back with the, with the win. Yeah, look, the reality is, being a truth teller, losers out of any college football playoff argument. Right? You can run yes. the table, and I believe a one-loss team, Pac-12 champ, will have a dramatically strong argument to get into the CFP unless the other four conferences have four undefeated teams. That being said, the stakes are huge in this game. Called the game a year ago when Washington State threw the game winner to beat Utah at home. It was bonkers. It was crazy. What's going to happen in this game? Well, the Washington State receivers need to bounce back. Costly turnovers from that position group that is very uncharacteristic. Look at the other side, the DBs of Utah. We've talked about them as being the best defensive back group in the conference, and Jalen Johnson being one of the best guys in the country, and they just got ran by in the USC game. So two prideful position groups, very outspoken position groups, need to elevate and they're facing each other. But that's exactly what you should be watching in this ballgame. You ready for the trip? Oh God. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going tonight actually. I'm so excited. Okay. Uh, good for you. Friday night dinner? Yeah. Salt Lake lock, City? Lock it in. We'll watch the ASU Cal game. The two of us ready to rock and roll and of course at the end of the night we got you covered on Pac-12 Final Score.